Good afternoon, YouTube. Um, I haven't been online lately. Had a lot going on. It's been a crazy... Uh, it's just been crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I've had one of my vape mods get broken. Um, somebody was being kind of sort of hyperactive. And... One paying attention to what he was doing, he knocked it off. It came down in the food bowl. Darlin's food bowls are metal. Pyrex and metal, not a good combination. But yesterday I ordered some replacement tubes, which by the way, those of you that have seen my videos, it is the Smockstick V8. Um, completely, uh, completely shattered the tank. My iStick Pico Mega, I had gotten in a small adapter that would allow a bigger mod like that to take the smaller EVOD tanks, the EVOD style tanks. I had a Aspire BBC clear miser tank, one of the first Aspire uh, mouth to lung mods made. One of the, the solid metal ones, those of you that have actually used it. It uses a, a coal about that bit. Any, anyways, it come up missing. I, I personally believe it was stolen. Come on. Is that you? Anyways. Anyways, um, so just a lot been going on, and for those of you that actually follow and care about my life, I apologize. I'm not trying to put YouTube on the back burner, but I don't have the privacy, I don't have the practical means because my tablet, I have not seen it in probably a week. I just found it earlier this morning. I've been trying to shoot this particular video probably three days now, just to keep you guys updated in the loop. Um, I have some fluid on the way, and I will post a review of that whenever whenever it comes. Well, whenever it comes in, when I've had time to sample it, I have a Resident Evil video recorded. I just have not been able to put. It's three videos. It was uh, it's three videos total of an hour's worth of time. My video capture device for my video games separates my videos into two, uh, I believe two gig, either two megabyte or two gig, but it separates it into, into two something segments. It might be 200 megabytes. It's two something. But anyway, it separates it in roughly 20 minute segment or 27 minute segments um, at 1080p. I may switch it to 720p to see if that makes a difference. And allow me to get more time into a segment so that I don't have quite as much to splice um, because stringing videos together is really aggravating I cannot I cannot uh, use the flash drive on my phone because that's the only way to record is through a flash drive I cannot uh, I have to use I cannot use it on my tablet either because the tethering cable that goes to the tablet, MP4, is an unsupported file for my tablet. My phone and my tablet are both very cheap. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. That being said, I have the files on a USB. I have an hour's worth of playtime for Resident Evil 4. And I just, I haven't had a chance to, I haven't had a chance to splice it, much less upload it. And I'm not going to upload it in three different sections because the very last video is like a minute and a half. And I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it all into one segment so that those of you that do watch these videos can keep up with the story, can keep up with my thoughts, my, and, and anyway, so that nothing gets lost from video to video. Um, I do have my license reinstated. Uh, for, for those of you that did not know that, um, I am now driving a, um, I am now driving a vehicle of my mother-in-law's. Victoria and I, totally Tori and I, are still together, still going strong. We're engaged, got engaged June 2nd. I'm pretty sure some of you know. Still working at Cochranama Hospital, still, uh, Still playing caregiver for dogs and cats. Still have Darlin. She she's getting big. She's like fifty four pounds. 
you know, and, and for a medium sized dog, 54 pounds is big. Anyways, um, we now have Misty. Misty is a poodle mix. That's Tori's dog. We adopted, well, cut a long story short, she was Tori's to begin with, but because of circumstances, she, Tori could not take Misty with her. Misty wound up becoming Tori's mother's dog. And now, uh, now that Tori is somewhat stable and because I work in veterinary medicine and I can help her to take care of her dog better, Misty has returned to being Tori's again. Uh, what else? I think that that's all the updates. Uh, oh yeah, um, we now have better guitars. Most of you, if you browse my videos and go way, way back, it's like in the first five videos somewhere. If you go back into my videos, um, there is a cover of Something More by Sugarland. And it's done totally acoustically on my um, Trinity River acoustic guitar. But now I have a PV electric bass. Do not ask me the price tag because I was not happy about the money they spent on it. But it was for my birthday, so I'm not complaining. I love it. It's uh, It feels so good to have a bass in my hand. Tori found a guitar on the wall that looked good to her. And I told her the name brand was crap. And then I thought back to, well, first act, um, which by the way, those of you that didn't follow that, the name brand of the guitar is first act. First act is a beginner series. If you're just starting out, it is fabulous to get started on, but do not take a first act on stage and expect professional quality. It's not a professional guitar. First act is something that you can buy for 30, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever it's Cheap made is something to fiddle around with, play around with, get a feel for. It's a beginner model. It is not professional quality. If you want professional quality, go ahead and spend the $800, $1,000, 1200 or like some of the others out here that spend four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 on a guitar. You know, if you want professional quality, get professional quality. First act is beginner. PV is professional quality. Well, yeah. PV's professional quality. PV ranges from amateur all the way up to professional. They are not beginner grade by any means. But they can range from beginner all the way up to professional. Uh, most name brands have that. Fender has that. Fender goes from beginner to professional and uh, worldwide. So uh, Fender is probably one of the biggest names in guitars next to uh, Martin. Martin, again, from beginner all the way up to professional and worldwide. So anyways, this is the update, guys. Um, just letting you know what's going on with me. I'm terribly sorry that I have not been on here. I know I said I was going to dedicate four days a week, but just things have been taking off. Crazy, crazy busy with the clinic. Crazy busy at the house. I barely, barely get time to do anything. On my days off today happens to be a day off. Thank Jesus. Um, those of you that are not Christ, those of you that are not Christian or religious, I apologize. I'm not trying to offend anyone. That's just something I say um, because I do happen to be Christian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so that's the update, guys. Um, if you want to see more of what I do, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think, what you want to see next, and I'll get on it.